we're going to have the appointment of two new police officers uh, next week. That would be, of course, at the beginning part of the meeting. Uh, one of the officers will start effective July 10th. The other one will be August 13th. The first item is the 2018 Asphalt Street Program. This was uh, issued for bids by the city. Uh, the administration recommended pre uh, precision paving of Milan, Milan Ohio um, in the amount of um, $850,399.21. Um, this was discussed at the Public Service Committee and discharged to the Collective Committee for approval. Uh, it's for the 2018 Asphalt Street Program. And I'll yield to Mr. Wright if he wants to add anything further on the program. Mr. Wright. Uh, thank you. Of the 850000 that Mr. James mentioned, $51,903.50 is going to be paid for by the Lorraine County Metro Parks because that is paving the Armour Road bike trail from Bell Road Park to Electric Boulevard. So that is, uh, that is a payment that is just we're just be passing through it they are benefiting from our project the size of our project uh, mr zimnick has confirmed by email that uh, they are talking with the law director to work out that agreement but that money uh is going to be paid directly by the metro parks so thank, thank you very much was it actually a mutual um benefit because our residents we benefit from the park having it here in avon lake thank you very much Resident, the last item is a one day permit for a beer festival as i think um, many folks know in two days the city is going to kick off formally its celebration of its bicentennial uh, one of the ways that it wishes to celebrate its bicentennial is having a beer festival somewhat similar to the wine festival that's been very successful but instead at, at uh, Miller Road Park at the west end of town in September, correct? September. The 22nd. Um, the, of 22nd. 20, the 22nd of September. Uh, in order to do that though, uh, we will need to um, suspend our own rules with respect to alcohol consumption in the park and authorize uh, the city to get a special uh, liquor permit to facilitate the beer festival. This wasn't discussed at public service, but um, given the necessity and nature of this and, and similarity to the wine fest, I'd like to bring this forward um, with suspension of the rules and uh, emergency provisions in order to authorize this so the city can work on this over the break and be ready for uh, the beer festival in September. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any further discussion? The mayor, yes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, I'd like to ask Mr. Lieberman a question. Mr. Lieberman, uh, the Beard Fest is going to be located in a specific portion of the park. I don't think it's going to consume the whole acreage. Mm -hmm. um, this does not have any specific reference that I could see <clears throat> as to what the parameters are, but can that be understood that we're going to stake out where that uh, event will take place and where beer consumption can take place based on the, the uh, participation in purchasing tickets through the festival rather than people bring beer on their own and sitting at the park and drinking uh, um, <laughs> at their own private parties. Is there anything that we need to tighten up here that would uh, best serve us? Well, you're in control of it, right? Yes. That's well, then you can designate where you want it to, to go. I, I don't think you need to specify that in this particular ordinance as long as you're the one that control, you know, in control. If you, this were being handled by a uh, you know, private group, then it would be different. But uh, since it's the city, they can designate where it's going to be. Could I ask uh, Mr. Wright's a question? Yes. Joe? In your conversations with the folks with the beer festival, have you talked about boundaries of this celebration? Yeah, but total boundaries would be the east side is the limit of the fence against the power plant property. The west side is the existing chain link fence that goes separates the park from the parking lot at the boat launch and then from Lake Road all the way to the shoreline of Lake Erie. So it's that big parcel. Uh, the main focus being the area, uh, open area behind the Peter Miller House, because the <laughs> VIP area is the fenced area of the Peter Miller House. Uh, for those of us who attend, Mrs. Fenrush, for those of us who attend the um, Hooks for Hunger, there is a substantial parcel west of the boat launch, and uh, it's a very nice parcel. So that actually will not be part of that. So actually, people could really 
not participate in the beer fest and enjoy the park in yes. that location without right. any problem, but they certainly are not going to be able to consume beer in that area. I just wanted right. to clarify that. Okay, thank you, ma'am. I, I do have a question for you, Mr. Wright. Um, I, in attending other beer fests in other locales, um, oftentimes there is yellow tape cordon off and there are safety forces that are very um, enforcing in the location along with um, vested um, volunteers and vests. Are you thinking of corridoring anything off? It ha yes, the area has to be cordoned off and we have to limit access to certain areas that does, does have people checking IDs for people that enter the site. Thank you. Then you had something else you wanted to say, I believe. But no, no, that was it, that we, that we are installing additional fencing around there to uh, restrict the exact entrance and exit points for people entering that, that festival. Thank you very much. Any other discussion on this topic? We, we do have a, a appointments necessary. Erica Larson, through her capacity as chair of the Environmental Affairs Advisory Board, she no longer serves in that capacity, but she was very active with the, with the Tree Commission in uh, uh, doing the Tree City USA event, and she has incredible uh, IT skills and was a very enthusiastic about that event, made, helped make it a great success with a number of other people. She is interested in filling one of the positions in the Citizens Tree Commission. So you see her resume in front of you, and we have seen the work that she's done. So I strongly recommend that Erica be appointed to one of the positions that are available. And Valerie, that'll be on the agenda for Monday? Yes. Very good. Any discussions? I know I've worked with with, um, with with her, and so has Mr. Wrights, and she's very dedicated, and she just goes above and beyond. So I think that the Tree Commission would be uh, benefited by her expertise. Thank you. Mm -hmm.